as the sun rises, wildlife awakens. Spring has arrived in Lake Hornbier Nature Reserve, and with it comes the common cranes. Lake Hornbria is one of Europe's foremost bird lakes. Every spring, the lake is a place where thousands of birds visit. The lake is almost 10 kilometers long, three kilometers wide, and is at its deepest at 1.5 meters. Though it is full of life today, this has not always been the case. Historically, the lake has been lowered on five occasions between the 19th century and the 1930s in order to create land for agriculture. The result was an overgrown swamp that was not used at all. However, in 1997, the area became a nature reserve. Though there are still parts of the lake that are shallow, the common cranes arrive each spring. A colony of up to 30,000 common cranes can visit the lake at the same time. After a long flight from northern Germany, Lake Hornbria is the perfect place for them to rest. Thermals determine the time of year the cranes arrive in Sweden. The mountains around the lake create convection currents of rising air, which the cranes use to reach their final destination. Due to the nature reserve's bird sanctuary area, the cranes are protected from humans. This creates a safe, tranquil environment. But there is one more luxury for cranes to enjoy. They are served food. Each evening, several tons of barley grain is spread out for them on the fields. During one season, around 150 tons of locally produced barley grain is spread out for the cranes and other bird species to eat. The feeding reduces damage to agricultural land around the lake because it keeps the cranes in one area. The cranes also have one other motive in their visit to the lake. Should they have not already done this, now is the time. The cranes form monogamous pair bonds each year before mating season, they strengthen their bond through dancing with one another. Some dances last longer than others, and they can happen at any time during the day. Once the day drifts into evening, they fly out to deeper water to sleep. But for some, as they fly to the final destination to mate for a future generation, the journey continues.